Good morning. And my God, Nigel's brought me to a great little spot last night. We're only parked there. We're parked there. It says no overnight parking. Didn't see that last night, unfortunately, um, as you do. It got bloody windy in the night. And this morning we got up, we were going to do sunrise. And uh, it was a no-no. It was grey. It was wet. It was miserable. It was horrible. It was raining sideways. And he said, right, we're going to go and do church doors, uh, barn doors, whatever you call them. And uh, that's where we are in South Wales still. Nigel's here with me and uh yeah i've just literally walked to the well 50 yards from the van <laughs> and i look over the cliff and look at this bloody hell i did not realize i was here and i did not realize i was quite as close to the cliff edge either really in all fairness but yeah the sun's up and now it's gone from being really gray and quite miserable to too too sunny but 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 there's high tide, waves are crashing against the barn doors as I'm looking at them. And if we get down the steps the other side, you'll probably get some light coming through. So that's the plan. We're going to go that way in the wind because the wind is still here. And uh, yeah, quite looking forward to this one. Should be quite a nice shot. So let's get going. And I'll probably speak to you down there. I'm not going to B-roll it all because, oh my God, look at this for a pathway. Right, I'm going to put the camera down. <laughs> this is going to get slippy. Funny really, Nigel said, are you not taking one for the classic viewpoint? Guess what? Camera's out, I'm here. <laughs> I've come over to the edge of the cliff. I've actually come down a little bit from Nigel. You can see him just up behind me there. So I've stepped down a little bit on the cliff. There's a bit of a ledge that I've stood on and I'm going for the classic viewpoint. Um, and why not indeed? I've taken a shot already. My battery's on low. I don't want to keep going up and down this hill. So I'm going to change my battery in a moment. We're going to whack the polarizer on because we've got some sideways light. It might make a nice, it might make the, the sea a little bit more aqua. So I'm going to stick this on the front of the lens like so. I'm going to have a quick look, switch the camera on, spin the polarizer. Is it doing anything? And the answer is probably no. It's not doing a lot, but I'll keep it on anyway. And then we're going to throw on, just for a change, I'm going to throw on a, let's go throw a 10 stop on. I'm going to throw a 10 stop on on top of the polarizer like so and i'm going to switch the camera on it says 30 seconds uh yeah i'm just going with that i'm focusing the foreground i'm just going to hit the shutter button and let it do a 30 second exposure hopefully the battery will last long enough for me to take a couple here and then move up So I'm making me way down the steps at the moment and I'm on the metal ones and metal and slippy wet stuff doesn't mix so we're being really careful it's quite a daunting view if you're not good at heights you can actually see through the bottom of the steps <laughs> a bit scary if you're scared of heights so I wouldn't advise it um, but you'd be all right there's railings all the way down even though I didn't hold on to the railings because I've got a camera in my hand and a tripod under my arm as per normal oh look at this we're here look at this barn doors barn doors are there Look at that, or church doors. And we've got the tide in, so we've got rocks, we've got something to play with. I'm assuming the tide's probably going out. So, happy bunny. Time for a cool shot. It's very in the shade. I'm not going to lie, it's in the shade. Uh, I've seen my first shot that I'm going to go for straight away. And that is a little stream in the... A little stream. Look at that, there's no messing around with this little stream running down there you've got a rocks 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 leading you off barn doors with the light behind it which is okay so you can see through and then we've got sea all around it so that's my first shot i'm going to get this one done and then i'm going to start to get a little bit more creative wicked what a place love these places we're wanting to come down here for a long long time hell yeah <laughs> so i'm actually going to be using my first time my little um mini tripod I've got for my camera now I've done a review on it and it's a wicked little tripod so I'll put you down on the rocks so let's have a look at this image we have definitely got a corker going on here we've got leading line we've got rocks we've got the sea and we've got the barn door I'm going to eliminate a lot of the sun a lot of the sky because there is no sky and I'm just going to take this as it is I'm going to bracket it because we've got the massive um, dynamic range between the bright sky and all I want to do is get this one in the bag. I'm going to go F11, which is my, seem to me my go-to these days. We've got the leading line. What's the polarizer doing? Oh yes, the polarizer is acting 
superbly. So we're gonna have a little bit of sheen in the foreground. Look at that. And we do need the filters because I think we need to smooth this water out. It's quite a rough, quite a rough water, but and I'm gonna change my polarizer for further up. This getting that line going up that way. Yeah, so we're getting this great line, great leading line. Definitely a good one to get started. I'm gonna put the six stop on now and get a shot of this, but yeah, wow, wow, wow. Impressive. And I think it's even gonna work on a vertical because I can get the, the pebbles coming round and having the cliff facing it as well. So let's smooth the water out on this one, get the vertical one, and then I'm gonna get creative and find something really, really cool to make this, make this special. So I've moved again, I've come over a little bit further over onto the shoreline now and I'm looking through it, which is quite nice because you're getting the reflective light inside the barn doors, uh, so or the church door. So it's giving a bit more of a, a, a hole shape, which looks quite nice. And you can see the cliffs behind it, which are all straight lines, which is absolutely amazing the way they sit up straight. Uh, I've got a lovely leading line um, coming from the bottom left-hand corner as well. And I'm also, got the three stop on to give me a little bit of a slower shot speed to try and get a little bit of movement in the water even though it's a fine line between one in movement and the crashing waves because when the waves crash they are phenomenal so it's a real fine line between which I want either the fast shot speed or the slow shot speed the waves are lovely they crash really really nice I'm not sure I need to keep bracketing but I might knock the, the brackets off I might just knock the brackets off and just go for the exposure for the waves in the background. Really, really quite something else this is. Oh, look at the wave crashing then. It's just, I think I need a shutter speed that's fast because I love the waves more than anything. So I'm gonna concentrate on that, I think. Have a look at a slightly tighter image to get some water splashes because these conditions aren't like this every day. Right, I'm just going to show you this as well um, before uh, I'm waiting until the tide drops down. I'm going to have a nose as well, but have a little look at this. I'm going to turn the camera around. Oh, spin the camera around and just, let's see if we zoom you in. Just there, there is a hole in this massive, 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 massive cliff face. Okay, so this is huge. And there's a small hole there and the tide's coming through it. But look at that. You can get through there. All right, now, obviously not at the moment you can't because of the water coming through the hole. But when at low tide, you can get through there and go onto the cove on the other side. But it's the only way you can get through uh, or when the tide gets really low and gets to the bottom of down there. But this is uh, quite spooky and quite awesome. I might try and get a picture of the waves coming through it and crashing because it looks pretty cool and really weird. The tide's definitely getting lower. It wasn't, it's not coming through as much, but yeah, you don't want to get stuck in there, do you? I'm struggling a bit to make this my own. I've taken loads and loads and loads and loads of photographs of the waves crashing and stuff, and I'm hopefully going to put a bit of a blend together to make it make quite a nice image, but I don't know. The light's gone off, but it's still a nice bit of soft reflected light so it's sort of making the the, the barn door the, the church doors shine a little bit um, but i'm struggling to find a good composition that sells this to me it's amazing to look at it's amazing to listen to it's amazing to video but i'm not getting the the tingle the the, the buzz from the photo um, i don't know why i'm not sure Wrong time, of, wrong time of day, maybe? Wrong light? I don't know. Um, I've not given up yet. I've not given up yet. Um, I just don't know. The tide is going out quite a lot, so it's making the, the church doors look a lot bigger. So maybe I should just wander over here and see, see what it looks like now from this side. Walk over the seaweed and between the rocks. <clears throat> uh, it looks pretty big and impressive in all fairness now I've got closer to it um, 
the sky, the sun's now diffused by the, the, the clouds. Yeah, I think, okay. Yeah, let's, let's, let's have a look and see if we can just get something shooting through the barn. I don't know why the camera keeps doing that, losing my face, but it just did, didn't it? <clears throat> yeah, the sun's diffused now by the clouds and we've got rain, I think, coming this direction. So we're gonna have to run over to my bag and get my raincoat on if it comes this way. But it's looking impressive, but I'm just not convinced. Uh, yeah, I think, I think get closer and just do some long exposures, maybe with the barn doors or the church door. <clears throat> I think that's what we're going to do. Let's have a look. Well, I'm trying to do something now I wouldn't normally do. This is not how I normally shoot, but I am in full full manual at the moment because I have a sky behind me that looks amazing and the only way I can control the brightness of that sky is literally by shooting in manual because I can tell the camera to totally 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 underexpose the sky okay so I'm getting the really bright parts really really dark I'm getting these light rays that are just balanced with the right exposure that I want and now I'm just trying to get the water on a level that I can get a bit of movement in the water. I've got the six stop on, I think. I've got the six stop on. The sun's just come out as well. That is a, that is a bad notion. Can I get a, a sun star out of that? Let's just try. Let's wind this right down. Can I get a lower exposure than that? Come on, let's get it all the way down. I've got a little tiny sun star. I can't get any darker than that. It just looks horrendous. But the sun's just popped out above those clouds now, so it sort of spoiled what I was doing. But literally, all I've got it in is full manual, and I've just wound the uh, the scroll wheel on the front of my camera. And I will show you what I'm doing because sometimes you don't understand the basics of what I'm teaching you or saying. I'm not really teaching anybody, right? So I have got a scroll wheel. Let me see if I can come around this side. I'm here somewhere. Where are we? Let's get it round here. There we go. Let's focus on the front of the camera. You might be able to see me. So I've got a scroll wheel just here on the front of my camera. So as I'm looking at this, I can scroll and get the darkness. I can scroll it forward and lighten my exposure. That's like 2.5. That's down to four, quarter of a second, 1.3, one second, 1.3 seconds, two seconds, and so on and so forth. So I can balance that and get that just how I want it. Um, and, and control the light and the, and the rays. So hopefully I can blend that image. If I can, this one's gonna be quite nice. I've got the barn doors on the left-hand side or the church doors on the left-hand side, and I've got the sun rays in the background in the background. So hopefully it's gonna work out quite nicely. It's quite a hard one, and I did manage to get some water come right up over the rocks and splash over the rocks. So that should be, that should be an image I'm quite pleased with. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm watching the big vista now. I'm trying to get the big vista with the sky and the barn doors. I keep calling it barn doors. Am I gonna get in trouble for calling it barn doors? And trying to get the big, the big picture really with those rays in the background because that's what's making this picture unique because the sky is different to anyone's ever had before. The rocks are the same, but the sky is different. I'm hoping you can hear me and uh, see me all right because I'm, I just wanted to show you a bit of an idea of what I'm doing to try and get this shot. I've actually stood up on a, on a big rock that's big enough just to get the tripod. The legs are written narrow, but I've got the tripod up quite high in front of me. I just want to get as high as I possibly can so I can look down onto the image. I can try and get, eliminate as much sky as I can and concentrate on the water because the water is the important part. The added sky then is going to make up that picture of the water and then the, sh the church doors on the left hand side is the feature of the image. So. I've got all these segments in there, but I need to get up as high as I can to do it. And with this tripod, even though it's quite a high tripod, I still wanted to elevate myself by getting myself up on this rock. So that's the kind of thing I do to get a shot. Get to the extreme positions I can, as high or as low and on the edge, as most people do. Well, not most people, but me. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you know how I'm getting the shot. I think this is gonna work out quite nicely. And the waves splashing through there, I keep catching my eye, fantastic. But the sun's got a bit too bright now, so I'm just gonna have to 
to wait and, and, and I might go and get a drink of water and see if my tripod will stay here on its own without it falling off. no relations whatsoever <laughs> right I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod for a minute because just speaking to Nigel and there's another guy come down as well and I've just taken a shot on my phone again I'm gonna put it up in this corner it's bleeding brilliant um, so I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod and I'm just gonna try some handheld ones I'm gonna get really really low really extreme I've got the wide angle lens on so we're full out of 10 mil and I'm just gonna look for things and try and get as close as I possibly can just to see if it makes anything interesting they're all going to be random shots they're all going to be handheld i've got a decent sight or shutter speed going on so we'll give it a go and see what happens but yeah i've already taken one i'll pop it up now and i'll be back with you in a few moments Yeah, thank you very much, that'll do me. so I think I'm actually as good as done in this location I've walked all around and the tide now has gone well away from you can't even see me what is going on here come on face detection the tide's gone away from the end of the church door so I'm f I thought I'd take you in and take you in for a look what do you reckon you coming in for a look <laughs> gotta be worth it isn't it as long as I don't get wet I can't get all the way in but I can get a bit closer I've taken a few shots with my camera handheld um, yeah I can't get all the way in I'll show you this. Here we go. Ready? Uh, I keep calling it barn doors, but it's church doors, isn't it? It goes all the way up, which is pretty, pretty impressive. If I put you on follow mode, like so, you can see from the bottom there. So this is me at the bottom. It's pretty high and pretty impressive. It's quite cool. And Mr. Nigel's come down to say hello as well. Here he is. I want to get my feet inside the, in the, inside the arch, but I don't think it's going to allow me at the moment because the water's getting a bit uh, I'm not walking in there it's raining it's raining it's <laughs> you're gonna take a he's got his wellies on he's going in he's going in look he's going in he doesn't mind getting his van completely wet and drenched that's deep in there Nige <laughs> wait till a big wave comes along look at him bloody bananas bonkers I'm not going in there and getting drenched I've got to get all this like in the van in a bit <laughs> he don't care does he 
Um, we got wellies on anyway, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, it's quite impressive. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not sure whether the photographs have been just there. And every so often you get a big wave splash through as well. And they're the ones that get you proper wet. So we're going off to another location. So I'm gonna make it a second video, uh, video the rest of the day. But before I go, before we leave here, I wanted to go and have a look at this hole and see if we can get in there and have a nose in there. The one I brought you to earlier on, because the tide's definitely dropped. So I should be able to get there. And these rocks might be a bit slippy because they're rocks that get wet. Oh, crikey. Let's get myself, the black rocks are very slippy. Let's get one on a bit there. Take one step at a time. And just get my foot in and see if we can get to it. I can still hear it sloshing and slishing and sloshing inside. And I'm now, I'm actually here, look, I'm at the hole. So I'm gonna poke my head through, see if it's dry. Because we don't want a big gush coming through. Oh yeah, the water level's definitely dropped. Yeah, have a look at this, look. This is the little cave Woo! <laughs> that you can get in and climb down. But if you do, you could end up getting really wet in here. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not going any further than that. The water's still coming in. That'll do me, here comes another big wave. Oh my God, that'll do for me. I'm inside the cave, I'm now getting back out. God, oh, Jesus, look at that. We do not, we do not mess with the sea. Right, I'm getting out, I'm not a, not a far in, I'm only a little way in. <laughs> that's enough, that's enough for me, because <laughs> I don't want to get bish bash boshed. Oh, crikey. That's cool, that's really, really, that is really cool. Because there's a little tight, it's only a small opening to get through and you're inside a little mini cave that's full of water and the water gushes through it. So uh, yeah, that's quite, quite impressive. Right, that's it from this location. That's it from me today. I am gonna bugger off. Hopefully I've got a couple of images. Oh, that was really slippy. Hopefully I got one. The one where I blended everything in with the, um, the water, the sun rays, the light rays, the smoothness of the water, the arch and everything. If I can get all that in, if it works, I'd have been a happy bunny. And you already know if it's worked or not because you've seen it. Right, that's it from the church doors behind me there. Great location, great morning. Even though it wasn't quite on the nail for a photograph. Um, yeah, loved it. Ciao for now, see you soon. Don't forget, get out and shoot. And uh, drop me a comment, give us a thumbs up, and all the liking, subscribing stuff. Ciao for now, bye.